Hi, I'm Rod Imhoff. I'm the Key Account Manager here at Chicago Pneumatic, and I'm here today to introduce you to the CP8613 Battery Torque Tool and its application in the Class 6 and Class 8 vehicle service market, specifically for torquing wheel lug nuts. Now, why do we need to torque wheel nuts with specific torque? Maintaining tension in the joint at the wheel is the key and 450 to 500 foot-pounds is the desired torque we're looking for. Now why 500? Because at 500 foot-pounds we start to stretch that stud just enough and it's that studs uh, want to return to its original shape that causes the tension in that joint. When you exceed torque, regardless of how high it goes, you cause that stud to stretch beyond its limitation or its yield. And at that point, no matter what you do, that stud will never want to return to its original shape, causing that nut to never torque properly. Therefore, it may just loosen and, and shake over time to where the point could happen to cause a potential wheel off. And we don't want that. The CP8613 is an innovative cordless torque wrench, combining high precision and tightening with a new generation battery. The CP8613 allows you to optimize your service operation. Number one, with speed. Because it's a battery tool, you're not dragging hoses. You don't need a compressor. It keeps the tool very mobile and allows you to work in the yard or in the field or out there roadside, whatever it takes. Number two, with safety. Chicago Pneumatic keeps you in mind, always looking to reduce your fatigue, your discomfort, and prevent injuries to you as a user. Weighing just under 12 pounds and only creating 70 decibels of noise, you can see, hear, and feel the difference in this tool. And most important, it's got a two-handed safety operation feature. This prevents your hands from getting into a pinch point anywhere on the tool. And with accuracy, the CP8613 has a reliability gearbox, and it's accuracy within plus or minus 4% at Six Sigma. Let's talk about power of the tool. What powers this tool is a 36-volt lithium-ion battery. The, the battery gives you 250 um, cycles on each charge and gives you an extended mobility. And also comes with two batteries and a charger. Each battery has an indicator light on the back side of the tool, which tells you the full strength of the battery for the tool's operation. Now keep in mind, this, this tool will operate 100% regardless of the battery's strength. Either the tool will either operate or it will not operate. So keep in mind also, you can recharge a dead battery in under an hour. Let's talk about strength. The tool has a reverse, reverse application of up to 960 foot-pounds, breaking torque quickly and easily. In forward, it offers 170 to 960 foot-pounds, more than sufficient to torque the nut at, at the appropriate torque. It also has an intuitive large LED display on the back side of the tool, easy to read for you as the user to see what you're doing and what you've accomplished. It's also fully programmable right here at the back side of the tool at the bottom. Now, if you're using the, uh, this is the base model, but if you're using the C model or the CQ model, you can also have presets for your tool, um, which you can control at an app in your smartphone or on your tablet in your service shop. Let's talk, let's see the tool in action. The key to the 8613 is this reaction bar. What happens is you place the socket on the desired nut that you're looking to break torque on or torque. The reaction bar is gonna to move to the next adjacent stud in the breaking of torque. And what that's going to do is it's gonna press or cause tension there. This is that safety feature I had talked about. This is the reason why we have a two-hand operation. You really wanna prevent your hands from getting at a pinch point here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, remember I talked about how quiet the tool is and the ease of use? You're gonna see here, you're, watch my shoulder and arm. You're not gonna see any activity or motion. Let the tool do the work, and you just need to manage the tool. So for breaking torque, simply and easily, as I mentioned earlier, Put your th thumb on the safety button, squeeze the trigger, and let the tool do the work. And literally, it's that easy. That torque has been broke on that nut. You've already broken torque. It's nice and quiet. It's easy to use. It's, it's unbelievably matched. Now, when it comes to requiring to put the torque back on, all you do is position on the opposite direction. Now, the reaction bar is going to push on the other side for torquing. Put the tool in forward, it's set at 500 foot-pounds, and I'm gonna squeeze the trigger, and I'm gonna squeeze the trigger and keep it squeezed, because all you really have to do is let the tool do the work. So when you squeeze the trigger, the tool goes into action, it's running, it's torquing. My hands are still on the triggers. The tool shuts itself off, lights up green on the back side, and shows you 505 foot-pounds, which is within that plus or minus 4%. The tool then also backs off the reaction arm. That allows the tool to easily come off of the nut so that you can move on to the next nut for, for the next acquired torque. Now, a lot of shops require you to do retorque situations 
24 hours later, or maybe once every month, you have to go out and do a torque check of all the nuts in the yard. That's where this tool can really be also a great use of, the, of at your shop because there's no nuts, to, no, no um, hoses to drag around, no tanks, no service trucks. You go out there and all you do is apply the tool the same way, put it in forward, set it for the desired torque of 500 foot pounds, squeeze the trigger. Let the tool go into action, it's gonna light up red. Why? Because that nut was already torqued, but now it's gonna read what the torque is and now it's gonna say it's now at 510 foot pounds, still within that plus or minus of 4%. And that's how you do a torque check. It's just that simple and just that easy. As I mentioned, ease, quiet, ergonomic design. It's, it's the speed, it's an unbelievable tool for its use. Very easy for you to uh, apply it. You can get it also without the reaction bar if you wanted. The tool comes with the reaction cup. The reaction cup, once again, you place it on the nut looking to break torque. The reaction cup will do the actual desire of instead of any, any reaction, it holds it on the actual nut itself. And what I'll do for this video is I'll put it on the opposite side so you guys can get a good view of what happens. There's no reaction. There's no movement. Brakes torque and retorque. The reaction cup holds on to that stud next to it and prevents any motion or reaction, allowing you to apply torque or brake torque as needed with the tool in hand. Obviously now you can see where the CP8613 could be a beneficial to your fleet's tire maintenance service shop. Its mobility, accuracy, and ergonomic design features make it the desired torque tool for many shops. Reach out to your local CP sales representative for more information, or you can contact me here at Chicago Pneumatic. My email address is rod.imhoff at cp.com. You can also find more features about this tool and more information at www.cp86.cp.com. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Have a good day.